my lemon potatoes were such a hit. I'm like, let's do a different type of potato. You know, the side dish issue gets boring sometimes. So I'm gonna do a Southwest potato and mix it up with some taco seasonings and kind of make them a little nacho-y, but I figured we could do all different kinds of potatoes, can't we? Um, I'm gonna use the little baby Yukons. These are the red and the gold and they are washed, towel dried and waiting right here. We're gonna cut those in half and season them with our homemade taco seasoning. It is sasson, garlic powder, smoked paprika, cumin, a little bit of chile mixed in. We're gonna do a crunchy shallot on top. We got fresh cilantro, we got cheese, we got a Greek yogurt topping. Let's make some Southwest potatoes. Potatoes, very easily. People asked me in the last video, did I boil them? Nope, these are, I'm roasting them in the oven from start to finish splitting them in half. Like I said, I washed and dried. If you have some bigger ones mixed in, quarter them so that they all cook consistent. And then I'm gonna use, I cooked bacon this morning, so I always save the bacon fat. I'm gonna use the bacon fat because why would we not want that flavor? Mm-hmm, mm hmm Honest mm -hmm. fan, bacon potatoes, cooked, adding in our taco seasoning. And if you don't have homemade taco seasoning, you could just use the taco seasoning packs that come like in the store. That works too. Potatoes are all cut up. I got my sheep tan with oil. Just gonna add in my bacon fat. You don't need to add in any extra oil or butter. And then our taco seasonings. Give it a really good toss so the potatoes are coated well. And we're gonna go in the oven around 40 minutes. I'm gonna check them in 20, give them a toss, mm -hmm. and then we'll reassess the situation. But probably gonna go for 40 minutes. I don't like raw potatoes. So, coating it really well. And then as they come out, on the sheet pan. Space them all out. Mm -hmm. See in a little bit. I forgot because there's a million things going on to add our shallot, so I Trade up my potatoes, and I'm gonna cut these. This is one whole shallot. I cut it in half, and then I'm doing the half moons. And the reason I like to do that is because I like to sprinkle them and break them up into pieces. I'm just gonna put them on top because when I go to toss them, um, they'll get all mixed in, and these are, potatoes are gonna be in long enough that the onions, the shallots, will be uh, fully cooked. So we're gonna slice it thin. You can do this with garlic, too, if you want. I didn't have any garlic today. So, shallots for the win. While our potatoes are in the oven, I'm gonna make the sauce for the top of them. So when they come out, I'm gonna put them on a plate. I'm gonna drizzle this sauce that we're gonna make real easy on top and smother it in cheese. And like the heat of the potatoes, we're not gonna finish them in the oven. So I am using a cup and a half of the plain Greek uh, yogurt. I use it for a million different things. I love making sauces and dressings out of it. This is half a bunch of uh, cilantro, washed and chopped, and two things of scallions, uh, sliced thin. And then, this is my secret ingredient. So, the Tabasco Chipotle. First of all, I, you guys know, I don't like spicy. Love this. I put this on so much stuff, especially eggs. You, if you don't have this and you have a can of Chipotles, you can take them and drain it but I love this hot sauce. It has a nice bounce of acidity and heat and smokiness. So this was the Tabasco bottle. I only had like this much left in here, so I just used it all. Um, love. Also, you want to season salt and pepper, Greek yogurt, or even sour cream. If you were using sour cream, that's fine. It doesn't have anything to it. So um, I'm not gonna use any taco seasoning or chili in here because I already have that like from the sauce and the potatoes mm -hmm. are really well coated. So everything in the bowl, mixing it together, it's gonna come together to be like this nice light orangey mm -hmm. color. You can have some fresh green onions on the side to garnish and top with. Ooh, like even if I just had tortilla chips, I was like a healthy dip. Ooh, new idea. Dip for your tortillas with the Greek non-fat yogurt. This is bangerang, Rufio. This is good. Mm -mm. So these just came out of the oven. They are really hot, but you can see how our shallots crisped up. Our potatoes are nice and 
crunchy and golden brown deliciousness. Um, we have our sauce on the side and we have our cheese. And if you want to add any more green onion or whatnot, but we're going to get this plated up so we can have a side dish. Our potatoes, I cheesed them up on a plate. And now my only thing is this is a little, a little bit on the thicker side, but I feel like if I pull the spoon and do little blobs throughout, yeah. Let's try it. Mmm. Southwest potatoes. Really good. Um, not super spicy for me, even though there's like chili powder in there and the chipotle. But it's, it's like a loaded potato, but it's Southwest flavors. Steal one more before I bring it to the table. You make it. Tag us. Let us know. Enjoy.